I'm Charlotte Faurin. Uh, I work as a board director uh, in a number of different companies, a handful of companies on the Stockholm Stock Exchange. Uh, my other half of time that I spent, I spent here in this region working in the startup ecosystem but also with the university and uh, more related to things related to building society, building uh, communities around companies just because I like that. <laughs> I like the other part as well. <laughs> what is a mentor according to you? A mentor to me is, I think, is what other people think of as mentors too, which is someone who can guide you, whose track you can follow, or whose tracks you can be inspired by. Uh, and how, uh, how does a mentorship relationship look like? A good one is one where there is a lot of trust and there is a lot of, there is a part of that that is friendship as well in the sense that the people who are involved in a mentor relationship actually like each other. I wouldn't be able to have a mentor or have a mentee, is that the right word? Hmm. That uh, it must be someone that I like. Otherwise I would have a difficulty working together. Uh, have you ever had a mentor? Not in the, not someone that I've called a mentor, uh, formally. Um, I've had a lot of people that I've talked to, but it hasn't been really in that role and definitely not explicitly a mentor. And I, that's, that's something that I would have liked to have, but it just didn't happen. That's interesting. Do you have an example of what, at a time when a person's guidance helped you through a tough situation? Yes, I do. Actually, in, in a way where I was in a situation where I got uh, thrown out from a job, from a company, uh, where I'd been for a long time. Uh, and one of the owners, uh, I had a feedback session, a phone call, as simple as that, but it was a feedback session with him after the fact uh, where he gave me, the kind of feedback he gave me on how it all happened and how I acted in that, where he gave me very positive feedback on that, uh, praised my integrity, which to me was, what? How do I, how do you mean? It was like, I just did what I thought was right. That was extremely important to me. In a vulnerable situation, I was hurt, I was sorry, I was sad, and I got that kind of feedback, as, which was a guidance, a help to me, how should I keep doing, what, what to do, how to work, how to act in the future, because he gave me a good, he t basically told me, you did the right thing, uh, which to me was extremely important in that. Situation. Why do you think that was important? I was so down. I was not sure that I was doing the right thing at all. I had just acted according to my gut feeling and I was not old enough to trust my gut feeling. It could be wrong and sometimes gut feelings are wrong. <laughs> but I got from him, he, he put words on what, I, what was good about the gut feeling. And that was, to me, that, that turned out, that was really important. Are you a mentor? Yes, in many cases. Um, five, eight, maybe ten people. But it depends, because I, I won formal, I'm, I'm in one formal mentor relation, uh, where it's in, within program uh, that Handelskammern is doing in, in this region, uh, which is great. But then, and I've been part of some other formal programs, but more so the mentor relationships that I'm in and have been over the past, whatever, five or ten years or so, they have been of the sort where you meet someone and you just, and that person apparently feels that, oh, it was good talking to you. Can I call you again? Can we meet again? And maybe that happens or it doesn't happen. Maybe it happens next month. Maybe a year after, I have people, yesterday actually I met a guy, I haven't talked to him for, it was two years since we met last, 
um, and he just called me the other week and said, hey, I really need to talk. Can we just meet? Because this is happening and I, I, I need to someone to bounce my ideas off of in my career. And so. uh, can you give an example of how one of those mentor relationships came to be? A, a good example, or one, one example, which is kind of odd, but, but just to give you the, the width of it, uh, is uh, the person I just met uh, before coming here, uh, who is a spouse of a person that I was a mentor for five years ago in a formal program, as it happens. And um, this person just called me on LinkedIn just the other, the, the other week and saying, Hey, I'm, I'm in this situation and I'm, I'm, I keep thinking about this and this and I really would like to find someone to talk to. How Do you know about mentor programs? And I answered, well, things about that and said that, yeah, there are formal programs and typically they charge you quite a bit if you're a mentee and, and then you recruit mentors and, and I've been part of those programs, such as you know, with your spies. Uh, so that's the way it works, but uh, I mean, if you like, we can just have a cup of coffee, I offered. And which this person said, yeah, that would be great. And um, today was a sunny day, so we had a great chat. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> That's one example. Um, I can give another exa example that would be a person you meet in a business situation uh, or at one of those networking events. And over a cup of coffee, just start talking, and it turns out that yeah, no, that would be great to talk some more sometimes, and you end up meeting again. Uh, I would tip typically I will I do put the the ball in the court of the one who's who's looking for a mentor. It's up to them to really. I mean, I I, I I'm I'm here if I have time. I have time. If I don't, I say I, I'm sorry. My calendar is just blasted, and we'll meet whenever that person wishes for it to happen and on the conditions that, that they ask for. And it could be, sometimes it's regular, most of the time it's very irregular, uh, a week, a month, two years, <laughs> that can be whatever.